Hey guys, it's spring. We need to do a little bit of uh, maintenance on my father's Can-Am Defender XT HD8. Looks like things could do with a bit of spring cleaning in here as well. I'll have to help my father out with that uh, in a couple of weeks. But for now, we've got two problems going on. First off, the wind switch is not working very well. Of course, I don't have the power on right now. But uh, what we're finding is that the switch is getting a little bit intermittent. More not working than working these days. Quite often he has to press the buttons two or three times before it'll actually engage. And I happen to have an aftermarket switch that I ordered in. It should be uh, fairly easy to replace. Likewise, over here on the door, and I'll turn the ignition on so we can actually use the switch. As you can see, I can hear the window up and down sometimes works. The other switch we've got is a replacement up-down window switch. And uh, these are aftermarket switches. They're not the factory original ones, but they should work and they were fairly inexpensive. I think I got them off eBay for about 12 bucks a piece. Follow along while we get this done. Just to be on the safe side, we're going to take the negative terminal off the battery. With both the winch and the power windows requiring to have the ignition turned on in order to get power, uh, probably not going to be any constant power to those switches. But just to be on the safe side, now there's no power going to those switches. The easiest one to replace is going to be the uh, winch switch. And uh, the reason that I know that's going to be easy to do is because uh, we flip this thing upside down for use with the snowplow. Just a matter of... Uh, Convincing this little glove box to pop out of there. And then we can reach up and we have access to the back of the switch. Switch unplugs. We've got our little bit of dielectric grease on there. And we plug the new one back in. And I'm going to leave this switch upside down for the time being. The uh, plow is still on the front of it. And by flipping this switch over, of course, this is uh, out and this is in. And when it's installed normally, it's like this. So this is your uh, in and this is your out. But when you're dealing with the snow plow, this is down, this is up, and it gets confusing. So we just plop it out of the dash and put it in upside down. That was one of the little tricks I came up with uh, shortly after I put the plow on this in a previous video. Hey, uh, check, I don't know, up the top of the screen there somewhere, I'll throw a link to that video. Switch is a little bit different than the factory original one, but close enough. So that should be good. Now over here, I thought we had some screws holding everything together, but we don't appear to. And this kind of clips in. Carefully we pull that back out. We've got another one of these release plugs. Now we need to convince that switch to pop out of there, which I think we're going to need a flat bladed screwdriver. We slip the flat bladed screwdriver down in beside as you can see, we've got these uh, kind of spring tabs that are holding the switch in place. That gets our switch out of there. Put the uh, new one in. Still have some dielectric grease on there. Plug it in and slip it back into its correct location. And now we'll get some power put back on. Hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, 
has our battery cover back in place. Drop the, uh, drop the glove box back on its hook. Now we'll test it out. No intermittent on that one. And no more intermittent on the window. Well, that was quick and simple. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. And uh, if you did, why don't you uh, give me one of those thumb up things. And, uh, you know, if you haven't done so already, maybe consider subscribing. I got a whole bunch more videos where we do some repairs on uh, off-road equipment, install some accessories on different BRP products, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next mess.